Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. I want to shout out a huge thank you to our community members, Jay Martin and Jeff Novak. It is because of your recommendations that got a ton of thumbs up as well on our last video that we'll be reviewing today, You've Lost That Loving Feeling as performed by the Righteous Brothers. Now, I am particularly excited because in this video, we are going to see both of the Righteous Brothers singing. Uh, and Unchained Melody, which we did about a month ago, and that's where that comment was. It was just one of the brothers, and I kept expecting the other brother to come in, and he didn't. So today we're going to see both of the brothers singing, I've Been Promised. Additionally, this song was ranked as the most listened to song by BMI in the 20th century. And that's crazy. And it's even crazier that I couldn't hum you the tune. I'm hoping I'll recognize it. I hear it was placed in Top Gun, and I did see Top Gun, but I I can't find it in my head right now. So hopefully this will be a really fresh reaction, but there's a chance that I have heard it before. Let's get to it. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like grief in your fingertips mm. You're trying hard not to show it But baby, baby, I know it You lost that love of Okay, I recognize this. I... I've heard it before, clearly in Top Gun. Uh, I feel like it's been placed in other films as well. I have never like sung along to it or, or seen these lyrics placed before me before, but it sounds familiar, so that's good. I love, so we, we have uh, Bill and Bobby. Bobby, I believe, is the higher voice and Bill is the lower voice. So Bill opened this up. Woo! I miss the creamy low voices. It's like, it's something that isn't super popular on the radio these days. And it is so lovely to hear that depth and resonance right away. Let's go back and listen again. Cool. All the way back. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like grief in your fingertips. Oh, that's so the way um, that he's reattacking a couple notes here and there. I think that's an interesting style. Definitely feels uh, like an older style choice. Um, though, I think I've heard Rihanna do a similar thing, but just in a much more pointed, lasery way. Uh, that reattacking is almost like it's almost like a trill in some ways because it goes down to a lower note and then repeats the note above. It's like. If you did that a few times, it would be called a trill, but just that reattack uh, once is more of a stylization or an ornamentation, if you will. Let's go back one more time since I so neatly interrupted that. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like grief in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it But baby, baby, I know it You lost that love of feeling Oh, that love of feeling You lost that love of feeling And now it's gone Oh, I love the writing of this. I love, I love the way that they linger on gone and then it goes down as if it were fading away. Oh, that's, that's great. I love that we got that harmony added in and uh, the chorus, I think you've lost the loving or that loving feeling. Um, love the blend of their two voices together, yet that amazing clarity in their words at the same time. I love the lyrics too. Well, I don't know how much I love the lyrics. 
I hate the idea of losing a loving feeling, to be honest, but uh, it is very vivid imagery that works with this, with those first lines, you never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. Like, what a great line to describe losing that loving feeling. It's good, good writing here. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's catch a transition and keep going. Oh. Now there's no welcome look in your eyes when I reach for you. <laughs> Do your story to criticize little things I do? It makes me just feel like crying. I like the way you can tell that he is in his body when he gets to those top notes. And he's got a low sitting voice. So those top notes are going to be a little more difficult for him to hit than his brother. I don't think they're actually brothers. Wait a second. <sighs> I think their name is just Righteous Brothers, but they have different last names. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is something I should have looked up in researching and just did not cross my mind. I do not believe they are actually brothers, but they could be. Um, anyhow, uh, his low, low voice is going to have more uh, depth of timbre, just generally like more natural vocal weight that's in it. So when it goes higher, it requires a little more coordination to do that. And those high notes are going to tax his voice more than they would a voice that naturally sits high. That kind of the similar way that for a high voice to really sit low, that's also going to tax their voice. Uh, I think it's really interesting to look at these two next to each other and look at their physical appearance because physical appearance can sometimes hint at what the voice might be. Uh, this has to do with a couple different things, both like the natural length of the vocal folds and also the length of the vocal tract. So often, uh, if you have a little more length from here to here, you might have a darker sound that tracks all the way up from the larynx, all the way up through the mouth. So that's gonna be a deeper sound. And if you have uh, shorter chords as well, that's gonna make it easier to sing high notes. So in this case, uh, often people that are taller are gonna have longer vocal folds and they're gonna have more room in that vocal tract. So that's that lower and darker timbre thing happening. So I think it's very interesting. You can see them beside and you can say like, oh yeah, he probably sings the lower notes. Let's go back a little bit. That's great. love the sound of their voices together and those the harmonies were just so on pitch and really clean beautiful beautiful huh, interesting baby things baby i'd get down on my knees for you Baby, baby, I'd get down on my knees for you. So if you listen on this baby, baby, he's not being super specific on his pitch. I think that's very much on purpose. He even like creaks into it a little bit. Baby, baby, baby I'd get down on my knees for you. So sometimes we'll associate that kind of creaking into it or even being slightly off as being just a little more spoken, a little more intimate, a little bit more authentic. Uh, so I think that's cool that he used that tone here. I wouldn't have necessarily expected it in this, in an older style of singing. So I liked that there. It was fun to hear. And then hear how he goes straight back into the super clear, clean, very specific pitch. 
One more time. Baby, baby, I'd get down on my knees for you. If you would only love me like you used to do. That's fun. I, I don't know when this was recorded in relation to Unchained Melody, but I hear a little more of a bright buzz in his voice right now. If you would only love me like you used to do, yeah. <laughs> he sounds like he's having so much fun. Now that bright buzz could be coming from a number of things. That's not necessarily that his vocal production has changed or matured in any way. Uh, it could be just the microphone that he's using or how they produced this. So uh, I don't know, but I am curious about the timeline between the two. We had a love, a love, a love you don't find every day. Ooh, that was great coordination between the two. We had a love, a love, a love you don't find every day. I, their, their consonants and even the way that they're shifting vowels and day, yay, yay. It's great, it's great, it's very well timed. We had a love, a love, a love you don't find every day. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. This is, it's like bleeding and I love, uh, it was so amazing when Bobby went up high there. That was, he could go really high. It was, um, made me giggle. Wait, go back to that. No, actually in Bobby's voice right there, it sounds like there's like a little, um, there's a little inconsistency that hit in there. Um, and that's how you know this is a live performance. He's hollering up in his falsetto right now and he's putting quite a bit of volume through it too. And um, so there's like, yeah, there's a little flutter in there. <laughs> <laughs> It's adorable. Like, it's so cute. I think if I was that woman who was like, eh, whatever, I'm over this. If they sang this song to me, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'll come back. This is great. This is fantastic. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Ooh, one more time. They're even like adding some distortion to be like, I really need it. I, I'm desperate for your love. the counter melody in the strings here. We're gonna go back and listen to that again. It's beautiful, really, really beautiful. So it's those high strings, they're panned to the right, meaning that 
the spatialization of them are going to be to the right if you're wearing headphones or listening on some speakers. Right here, that kind of movie is beautiful. I've been a little tired that day, Bobby. Let me go back a little bit here. So yeah. Uh, that might have been a re-attack of that note, or there might have just been like a little bit of phlegm in the throat. Uh, he's like, he's so amazing as a singer. So it's, I think if you hear a little inconsistency in the voice like that, um, that, that is just not, that's not something to ruin a performance or something like that. Um, I think everybody is going to occasionally have a little bit of phlegm that is there on the vocal folds. And if you're singing on a microphone, it's way more obvious than if you're singing opera, because if you're singing opera, like the sound is reverberating throughout the hall. <laughs> if it's on the microphone, it gets amplified from like right here. So anyhow, um, I heard a little something there. It might have been a re-attack, but I think it was probably a little fun. Wow. There was a choir in the background. I think that maybe in the recording of it, we didn't get a whole lot of choir blended into the mix, but it was there. I heard it a little bit. And I don't know if I would have picked up on it if I hadn't seen the visual of people behind them as well. I, I really love that that was just purely them. We didn't have any extra tuning happening. That was those two guys beautifully tuning their voices together. I love the sound, the resonance. They have like a combination, like just a little more loft, a little more dome in the sound. It's beautiful. I like hearing that blended together in harmony because I feel like I get even more really fun harmonics. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It was really fun to hear these two sing together. Listen to how well they've coordinated so many things when they're like going higher and and uh, holding it down at the same time. I loved this feeling of, well, feeling, here we go, feeling of how desperately they wanted this woman to bring back that love and feeling. Oh, it was really delightful. Really, really delightful. Good, good singing on both ends. I like hearing the depth, uh, the depth of Bill's voice and the way he can go down into that low range, but then get up into the top and, and holler, have a little bit of that distortion there. I heard that a number of times where he was just negotiating a pretty wide range very nicely. And then Bobby's voice is, man, he can go really high, but it was really fun to hear him also add a little bit of that distortion in on top when it was just super, super desperate. And then they came back to that super clean sound at the end. So you know that they were taking care of themselves well. This was delightful. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Thank you for voting up that recommendation as well. Guys, if you want to keep making recommendations, please do that in the YouTube comments. You know that it works. So uh, yeah, put a song in there. People, if you like that song, give it a thumbs up. We are watching and we are tracking what you want. Additionally, you can find me here and you can find me in live chats on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 a.m. Arizona time for our premieres. And you can find me on Patreon or at thecharismaticvoice.com. I'll see you somewhere soon.